Hello, I'm Patty Friend, and I'm making a depth profile for Christmas. And uh, this is just my first card because it's Santa Claus. It's a penny card, and you go. That's Christmas themed, and it's a uh, pretty good effect. You can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's hand if you're in defense position by tributing one monster. The control of the summon this way during your end phase. This turn you can draw one card, so it's helps to get some nuisance cards. I was also I was I was thinking about making and adding lava golem to this deck, but his have one that tributes one monster and then have the other that tributes two. And basically have a way to just like And this is like a defense card and it's, it's pretty good defense, you can't really hit it, but and phase, but it gets you a card to draw, so that's a bonus. It's basically giving you a card for summoning it. And also, it's a good defense for your side of the field if you don't use it, especially in my fact. I use three snowman eater if he's Christmas. It's gonna have snowman. Like how it even has a fez on it. And it's good a flip, it's good effect. When this card is flipped face up, target one face up monster in the field and destroy that target, so. Uh, one way is like you could take out the if you give them Santa Claus, take take out that ice and no monster. Three snow dragon. Uh, it's no. Everything is snow in this, pretty much. Three snowmen canorator. You gotta have some more snowmen. Uh, like uh, I believe the snow dragon and snow creator snowman creator focus on some sort of counters. But this card is Special summon, you can create any number of ice counters. Yeah, the ice counters equal to the number of water monsters you control. All the monsters in this deck are water. Three Snow Dust Dragon. You can special summon this card from by removing four ice counters anywhere on the field. Other than monsters with ice counters. Other monsters with ice counters cannot attack or change the battle position. So that's pretty good. And, and the way I do have to special summon is... Water hazards in the main room. Once per turn, you can special on one level four or lower water monster from your hand. You must control no other monsters, so that's one way I have to special on Snowman Creator. I also use two Cold Enchantress and three Ice Masters. Piz, the Piz, you can special on this from your hand by choosing two water monsters, so special summon. And it's, um, but. It's pointless because you can also tribute two of monsters to just normal summon it. But once per turn, you can draw one face up monster on the field and place an ice counter on it. So you can tribute a card, destroy all monsters with an ice counter, so it's pretty good. I use two salvage, one mystical space fight, three mystical space fight two two big ways, small ways. And that's a good way to actually spec summon. Like, if you you summon a snowman creator, you spec summon snowman creator with a water hazard, like this is like a goodish hand, and then this is like one one combo, and then use big ways, small ways to summon another snowman uh, to spec to destroy the snowman creator. Spec summon another one, you get its effect off twice really, and three swords of the night, really the spells and the traps I use are three Arkhamir water. Target one water monster you control and two water monsters in your graveyard. Draft the first target into your deck, and if you do, add the second target to your hand. So uh, it's good to so to reuse some of the water monsters like Snowman Eater. It's a good one to get back into your hand. And Snow Dragon. And I also use three Call of the Haunted because I need another way to spit some. No man creator and one mirror force for defense. And my extra deck is three snow dust giant because it focused on ice counters. I also use three number one oh one honor chart because it's a good water type. That's my Z that's level four. Number thirty nine Utopia just basic and two number thirty number seventeen Leviathan Dragon just in case like for some reason, you can get a way to overlay snowman eaters. And I tried Edge Levia because 
this is it's a bit tough to get out, but you still have three snowman eaters. So, and I also use another the other one of three green zone because it's, it's a good it's pretty good. Once per turn you need the player's turn, you can detach one of those weapons here from the sky. Try one face up attack position once your opponent controls. This current attack is different from its original attack and destroy and draw one card. And the, and there's few cards that actually lower. Because not all water type monsters on the field lose 200 attack for each ice hunter. That's no less giant. So and so that's pretty much. And also a few decks actually are like with silver calculus and like there's a quick card. So it's helpful. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this vi this video and my Christmas themed week, Christmas themed like almost week, like I started on Friday and gonna end next Friday, so yeah, I'm gonna stop making Christmas themed videos. And leave a like and comment down below. And this is just this is just this is basically just for fun deck. It's a Billy deck. Uh, for fun and it's not competitive, but sort of is worked a little bit. And again, leave a like and a comment. Uh, leave it. Leave a like down below, or uh, comment if you enjoyed the video. And. Subscribe if you want to see more.